OK, so this one looks very, 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 very uh, close to being like denominators. However, they're not the exact same. This says x plus 1, and this says x minus 1. So they are not common denominators. Um, since I can't simplify them any further, um, and they don't really share anything else that I can kind of pull out, I can just determine that my LCM, in this case, is just going to be my two denominators multiplied by each other, x plus 1 times x minus 1. That's going to be my least common multiple that both of these are going to be able to divide into. So now, what I'm simply going to do is just multiply, see what I need to multiply to get to my LCM. So if here I already have x plus 1, I need to multiply by x minus 1 on the top and the bottom. Over here, I need to multiply by x plus 1 on the top and the bottom. All right, now we need to make sure we apply distributive property and be very careful with it. 3 times x, or 3 and 3 times negative 1. x times x, and x plus 1. So here, for, here I have 3x minus 3. And a lot of times, um, plus x squared plus x. A lot of times, I'll keep these in parentheses just to make sure, because if this was subtraction, we would need to make sure we're subtracting this whole term, not just the x squared. But we're pretty lucky in this case. It's addition. So we're not going to have to apply that to both of them. Um, we're not going to have to use our parentheses to make sure that we apply subtraction to both terms. Here, then my common denominator is x minus 1 times x plus 1. All right, so now we just need to combine our, ter our terms up top. So we have x squared, which is, cannot combine anything else. And then I have 3x plus x, which is a positive 2x, and then minus 3. And then we put it over our x minus 1 times x plus 1. Now what we need to do is we need to make sure we, before we say, oh, all right, we're done, we need to see, can we simplify this? Can I factor this times anything that's going to uh, maybe help us simplify our, our answer further. So this goes back to our simplifying our fractions, right? We always want to look. If there is a simplified version of our answer, we want to see if we can find it. So therefore, I want to be able to factor x squared plus 2x minus 3. And I'm just going to use this by inspection and say, what two numbers multiply to give me negative 3, but then add to give me a positive 2? Well, therefore, I could say this can be in factored form of x plus 3 times x minus 1. All right, and you can double check my work by applying FOIL. Then we have x minus 1 times x plus 1. Well, now you see I'm dividing my exact same term, x minus 1 over x minus 1. Well, that's going to divide to 1. So we, we can leave it out of our solution. I'll have a final answer of x plus 3 over x plus 1, where my constraint is x cannot equal a negative 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you find your LCM, and then simplify your solution. Thanks.